Hello and welcome to Cinema 130, Film Appreciation. This is a course that will uh, cover how films are made, uh, the people who do those jobs, and then the aesthetics behind the films that we know and love. So let me share my screen and get into a, a course orientation that's going to prepare you for the semester. Okay, here we go. All right, so boom, that should work. I'm just going to take out my image so you guys can focus on the lecture. So here it is, Cinema 130, Film Appreciation. All right. Film Appreciation is a course that explores the world of film and filmmaking. The course will examine the techniques used in making a film and the stylistic choices behind them. Each aspect of filmmaking, from screenwriting to editing, will be explored. Four films have been selected that are great examples of advanced cinematic filmmaking. So let me explain the class here real quickly. 16 reading assignments at three to five pages each. You're going to have 16 lectures, lectures total. 11 will be around 50 minutes each. And another five will be 10 to 15. Homework uh, videos, three to four. Now let's look at homework. You have 10 homework assignments, one to two pages each. That all constitute about 30% of your grade. You have four quizzes, mostly objective, one short essay. That's another 30% of your grade. And then we have the film analysis uh, homework. That's three to four questions where you'll analyze a film that I've selected. Now that constitutes 40% of your grade, so it's very important to do those. The book is provided for free in the course. There's no live meetings. And most videos are included in the course. The only exception is the four films that you'll have to stream. Many of these are available on Netflix or Prime. And if you can't avoid it, you'll have to pay to rent them. Okay, let's talk about our workflow. Each week in the class, read the week's reading assignments or lecture, whichever you want to do first. But as you watch the week's lecture, do it with the book open. This will really help you. I've, I've taken great pains to connect the textbook to the lectures and you'll find that uh, they go hand in hand. Complete homework based on lectures and videos. Now at the end of each unit, that's uh, four units of so four times, you're going to study for your quiz using the review and your notes. Take quiz by midnight on the due date and watch the film analysis lecture. So basically you have a quiz to finish up and then you have a film to watch and then a few questions to answer about that film. Okay. So a couple course policies. To submit homework, attach a file to the homework assignment answering the questions asked. Late work accepted after the due date, but late penalties will apply. So in general, in online classes, you don't want to fall behind. Students who fall behind, most of them, unfortunately, tend not to pass the class. Quizzes must be completed on time, and they won't be accepted late. They're due at midnight of the due date. Of course, you can work ahead. And I just want to remind you to put extra work into your film analysis homework. That's 10%. Each one is 10% of your final grade. Sometimes students skip that, and um, they can't pass the class if they do. Okay, Canvas orientation. A couple of things to look at when you first open up Canvas. You'll see all these uh, links here on the left. So basically, the course is in modules. You'll also see modules inside of homes. Either one of those will get you there. You can check your grades under grades. And syllabus in, in Canvas acts as a sort of an assignment summary. You'll see all the assignments listed in order. Here we have the weekly announce, announcements. You want to check those weekly. Now, this is where I will teach, where I'll come up with ideas. Sometimes I'll look and see everybody's making the same problem, and I'll make suggestions. Okay, course orientation looks like that. Here's your intro letter, which you should have already read. That should have been emailed to you. If you're new to online education, you can look at this document. And then lastly, what I want you to do is check in and then participate in this movie discussion. This is really easy points for you to pick up. Just by simply uh, checking into the course, let me know that you're a part of the course and answering one question about one of your favorite movies. Course documents, we have a book. Your book is provided. I think it's about 70 pages. I can't remember now, but I created it for you. It's a great little book, better than a lot of textbooks, believe me. Syllabus, we have that. You'll want to check that out. And, of course, the calendar. You can download the, the book and the calendar uh, to your computer if you wish, and then you can operate offline. Here's what uh, week one looks like. 
lecture one with the with the slide deck you'll watch the lecture there here's the reading assignment here's some notes on submitting work here's your homework here's an example of one of the videos you'll watch all this contained within the module the course is organized around modules okay one week equals one module all right here's the calendar so here we are it's february 9th you have all the reading assignments and you have all the various the way the topics we're going to be covering homework that's due and so on and so forth basically you have something due every week all right uh, assignments both the film analysis and the homework those are due on thursdays the quizzes there's four they're due on sundays i changed it to kind of give you uh, a little more extra time okay and here's the uh, units broken down pretty simple couple of notes here, watching lectures in class. Um, watch lectures actively on a computer or on a TV, not on a phone. That's unacceptable and not while you're distracted. Watch lectures, lectures with your book open so you may reference the book and connect the concepts to terms. Now, the lectures are dense, so break them up and take breaks. Pause and replay, go back, stop, read the slides. What it is is, you know, the lectures are designed to be some of it, the lectures are both visual, textual, and auditory, and we have different types of learners, different types of learning styles, so I'm trying to convey as much as I can. Uh, watching videos in class. The required videos are all under homework. If it says optional, then it's optional. If it's under homework, then I want you to see it, and this it basically illustrates in more detail the concepts that I cover in the class. Do, do try to watch all of them. They average about six minutes. Uh, at times, the video I've chosen will include a commercial or a film-related service. You can fast forward for that. I apologize. Sometimes I can get rid of these. Mostly I can't. And if you want more information on a specific topic, let me know. And I, I always try to add stuff based on student interests. So here's Unit 1, 2, 3, and 4, broken up into story, cinematography, production design, directing, acting, sound, editing, producing, which really is sort of we start with pre-production, work into production, and then finish with post-production, which is the way the film industry works. So that brings us briefly to a discussion of the film industry. What is Hollywood? That term, what does that mean? Here's a, a shot from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And Hollywood is a neighborhood located in Los Angeles, uh, California. I'm sure many of you have been there. It's also synonymous with the glamour, money, and power of the entertainment industry. As the show business capital of the world, Hollywood is home to many famous television and movie studios, also record companies, stars, so on and so forth. The term Hollywood has a few different meanings. Now, it's a place, Los Angeles. It's also the movie industry in America. We generally call that Hollywood. It's also the style of films produced in America. We might say some films are really Hollywood, but it also refers to the community of people who make up Hollywood and uh, work in the industry and make the films. So we say film is art. So we're going to talk about a few different aspects of filmmaking. We're kind of getting a little deeper into the lecture to prepare you for the course. Cinema is the preeminent art, preeminent art form of our time. Cinema as art has the greatest relevance to the greatest numbers across generations and cultures. I still think that's true. Um, video games have supplanted movies for revenue, uh, for revenue but I think Many older generations don't don't do them, and of course, video games don't have the broad appeal to the same groups of people across the wide audiences. But they're, it's changing. The Oscars is an international TV event featuring the best films of the year. You see, cinema greatly influences society, and that's why we need to study it. It creates heroes and villains. It spawns trends, exposes tragedy, develops empathy, and of course, records culture and events. Cinema visualizes our dreams, fantasies, and indeed nightmares. So now we, you know, we talk about show business, but we often just focus on the creative side. So in this class, we will focus some on the business side, what it takes to make a movie and so forth. So the average movie or the box office from the last year for um, U.S. and Canada was four and a half billion dollars. That's a lot to make a film. It costs around 65 million for a major studio. Uh, independent film is one to 10 million. Now, when we say show business, what we really mean is 20% of show and 80% business. Remember, films are made for profit, but they're very, very expensive to make. I mean, millions of dollars, even for a low-budget film. You need to see a return on that money. It's too much money to, 
to spend just to make something for your heart. Now, speaking about theaters, um, movies for show, popcorn for dough. What does that mean? It means the movies get you into the theater, but where the profit is for the theater owner is, you guessed it, in the concessions. All those cheap popcorn and candy that they can mark up precipitously, that's where the profit is. And they, the most important audience to them, of course, are 15 to 25 year olds who eat a lot of junk food. They have the highest theater attendance, and once they're hooked, they're a customer for life. Okay, let's move on. Um, total box office, uh, this is from the United States. Um, lots of money, average ticket, ticket price $9. Average movie box office, only $12, $12 million when the average cost to make is 10 to 150 million. You can see that there's a problem. They've got to make, you know, with all the money that costs to make movies, you've got to see a return on your profit. Here we took a look at the average number of movies watched in a movie theaters monthly among U.S. adults. You'll see your age group, which is uh, the 18 to 29 group here. That's most of you. That's the light blue. They make up the most people attending movies, except for this category over here, which is people who don't attend movies. That's dominated, of course, by the older groups. This is all pretty obvious. People know that. But this is why uh, Hollywood it relies heavily on younger audiences. This is why we see the superhero movies, the romance movies, and the horror films, because these are the audiences that are coming consistently to the theaters and keeping their doors open. So let's talk now about the creative side, okay? It said a film is made three times. First, it's written. Second, it's photographed. And third, it's edited. Pre-production, production, and post-production, okay? Think about that. First you write the film, then when you go to make it, some of the things you wrote don't work, so you photograph it differently. Then when you go to edit it, you realize some of the things you photograph don't quite work, so you edit it differently. Filmmaking is a collaborative art requiring many, many skilled people. Uh, filmmaking is expensive, uh, requiring legal documents, permits, insurance, and so all this makes financing very key. I mean, the finance industry secretly runs the film industry, also the insurance industry. If you can't get insurance for your project, you can't get it made. Filmmaking is a lengthy process, happening over many months, even years, uh, two to three years being the average for most films. Filmmaking is complex, involving many multiple steps from conception to editing. And as Kubrick once said, all filmmaking is gathering footage to edit. Okay, that about wraps it up for the information. I just want to remind everyone to go to uh, watch lecture one. You'll go to week one. Remember, the course is organized in the modules. Uh, try to watch the lectures with the book. You'll notice that the book and the, and the lectures really go hand in hand. I have the, the booklet pages in the lecture so you know that you're on target, and you'll see that those two work really well together. So I'm going to stop my share. And I'll turn on my screen so you can say hello one more time. We'll see what it looks like. Hey, not too bad. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the, this lecture, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the class. Reach out with any questions, and have a great day. We'll see you next week.